Picture this. Sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and a whole lot of adventure. Yup, that's Cape Verde for you. Sound like your kind of getaway? Welcome to We Explore, your passport to the world's wonders. Hi, We Explorers! Let's take a journey to Cape Verde, an often overlooked nation in Africa which promises a memorable experience once explored. Let's delve into why Portuguese is the primary language, the local way of life, and some captivating customs. But before we dive in, don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing with notifications on so you never miss out on content like this. Number 1. Cape Verde is an island cluster situated in the Central Atlantic Ocean, approximately 600 kilometers from Africa's western shoreline. Initially uninhabited, it was claimed and colonized by the Portuguese during the 15th century. The name Cape Verde originates from the Cap Verde Peninsula in West Africa. Historically, it served as a hub for the African slave trade and a refueling stop for whaling and transatlantic voyages. Slavery was abolished in 1876, and Cape Verde remained under Portuguese rule until gaining independence in 1975. Presently, nine out of the ten islands in the archipelago are inhabited covering a combined area of just over 4,000 square kilometers. Number 2. In 1462, six years after Portuguese sailors discovered the islands, a permanent settlement was established in Ribera Grande, now known as Cidade Velha on Santiago Island. This marked the inception of the first European colonial outpost in tropical regions. Number 3. In 1951, Cape Verde transitioned from a Portuguese colony to an overseas province, granting its inhabitants full Portuguese citizenship in 1961. Number 4. The 1956 uprising, spearheaded by the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde, or PIGC, initiated demands for economic, social and political reforms. Led by Amilcar Cabral, this movement laid the groundwork for independence. Number 5. Following Portugal's 1974 revolution, which led to the dissolution of its colonial empire, Cape Verde declared independence on July 5, 1975. Number 6. Initially unified with Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde later distanced itself after a military coup in Guinea-Bissau in 1980, resulting in separate governance. Number 7. Santo Antal, the second largest island, is renowned for its challenging terrains, making it a favorite among avid hikers. Number 8. Pico de Fogo, the highest peak, stands at 2,829 meters above sea level and last erupted in 2014, boasting an ancient crater known as Chadas Calderas. Number 9. The population of Cape Verde boasts both African and Portuguese heritage, with a significant expatriate community owing to historical droughts, leading to mass immigration. Number 10. The legacy of Amilcar Cabral, a key figure in the independence movement, is preserved in a small museum dedicated to his memory. Number 11. Corn dominates the local cuisine, with cashupa being the national dish, a slow cooked stew compromising various corn types, beans, and seafood or meat. Number 12. The islands host a diverse avian population, including Alexander Swift, the Cape Verde Warbler, and the Cape Verde Shearwater. Number 13. The archipelago is divided into Windward and Leeward Islands, each offering distinct landscapes and experiences. 
Number 14. Cape Verde serves as a crucial nesting site for loggerhead turtles, with stringent measures in place for their protection. Number 15. Due to limited arable island, Cape Verde relies heavily on food imports, with only a fraction of its territory suitable for agriculture. Number 16. Sal Island attracts the most tourists, renowned for its pristine beaches and ideal conditions for water sports. Number 17. Foreign aid plays a significant role in infrastructure development, with the European Union and the World Bank funding projects to enhance port facilities and modernize industries. Number 18. The region's natural winds and clear waters make it the premier destination for windsurfing, kitesurfing, and diving enthusiasts. Number 19. Sao Antao Island offers picturesque hiking trails, catering to varying levels of difficulty amidst its mountains, valleys, and forests. Number 20. The Pedro Lumi Crater, filled with salt water, offers visitors a unique swimming experience, owing to its high mineral content. Number 21. Cape Verde holds historical significance, being Charles Darwin's first port of call during his renowned voyage aboard the HMS Beagle. 22. Darwin's observations in Cape Verde contributed to the development of his theory of evolution by natural selection. Number 23. The Cape Verde Escudo serves as a national currency pegged to the euro with a unique notation using the dollar symbol. Number 24. The region's history is marked by recurring droughts, leading to devastating famines and a dependency on imported food and resources. Number 25. Cape Verde faces significant climate change threats with predictions of rising temperatures and decreased rainfall by the end of the century. Number 26. Portuguese is the official language. Though Cape Verdean Creole is widely spoken, blending African influences with Portuguese roots. Number 27. Despite participating in the Summer Olympics, Cape Verde has yet to win a medal and has never competed in the Winter Olympics. Number 28. The historic center of Cidade Velha is the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in Cape Verde, recognized for its pivotal role in global maritime history. Number 29. The gray long-eared bat represents a significant portion of the country's mammal population, having inhabited the islands long before human settlement. Number 30. Grog, a local liquor derived from sugar cane, holds cultural significance and is commonly enjoyed neat or as a base for cocktails. Number 31. Transportation primarily relies on air and road networks with no railway infrastructure in place. Number 32. Goats, introduced by Portuguese settlers, play a vital role in the local economy, providing milk and sustaining traditional farming practices. Number 33. Sharing food in public is considered customary, reflecting the community-oriented nature of Cape Verdean society. Number 34. The national flag symbolizes the 10 main islands and is characterized by its distinct color scheme and star arrangement. Number 35. Brava Island is celebrated for its lush vegetation and absence of beaches, offering captivating cliffs and hiking opportunities. Number 36. Historical ties with European powers, 
such as Mussolini's interest in establishing an airport, underscore Cape Verde's strategic importance. Number 37. Salt extraction from Pedro Lumi Crater led to the construction of tunnels and tram systems for efficient transportation. Number 38. The largest port, located in Mindelo on San Vicente Island, has served as a vital hub for maritime activities since the 19th century. Number 39. Erosion poses a significant challenge to Cape Verde's agricultural landscape, prompting nationwide efforts for erosion prevention and reforestation. Number 40. The population comprises diverse ethnic groups, including African minorities and Sephardic Jewish descendants. Number 41. Catholicism dominates religious practices, interwoven with indigenous African customs and traditions. Number 42. The country's energy sector grapples with environmental concerns prompting initiatives to promote renewable energy sources. Number 43. Limited industrial activities focus on sectors such as agriculture, pottery, and beverage production, with a reliance on imports for sustenance. Number 44. Cape Verde's artistic heritage is richly influenced by its cultural diversity, evident in its oral traditions and musical expressions. Number 45. Cape Verde has transitioned into a stable representative democracy since the early 1990s, distinguishing itself as one of Africa's most democratic nations. In a nutshell, Cape Verde is a place full of exciting adventures and beautiful sights that'll stick with you long after you leave. So tell us, are you ready to pack your bags and explore this incredible island destination? Drop your comments and feel free to share your thoughts. If you loved exploring these stunning destinations with us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always in the loop for our next exciting journey. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious because with We Explore, there's always more to see. Happy travels!